Hi guys, I'm Tom, this is The Bunker, and let's look at Necromunda Ash Wastes. This video is sponsored by the EmpireGameStore.co.uk. For exclusive Bunker discounts, follow the link in the description below. For those of you that don't know, Necromunda is one of Games Workshop's specialist games ranges. And myself, Rob, and the other guys, we really enjoy playing it. It's fun, you don't need many models. Um, the models, as we know, are brilliant, and, you know, the rules are... They can be a bit touch and go, but it's fun. And at the end of the day, it's something that we're interested in. So, you can get a new box, which has just arrived, and I'll be unboxing my copy. And Rob has also received his today, and has already frantically ripped it to pieces. So, later in the video, we'll have a bit of discussion uh, from Rob, because he is a more seasoned Necromunda player. Um, but first things first, what is the Ash Wastes? In short, it's one of the most inhospitable climates in the galaxy. And here is the box that lets you step into it. I mean, first impressions, mother of God. The size of this box is unbelievable. Well, the price point was high, but hey, we I don't care. Um, it just looks awesome. And right there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so you basically get everything you need. It's hardback rule back in there. Ashwish Nomads, which are really cool. An all lot gang with the buggy things. Templates, dice, it's everything you need to play. So, without further ado, let's crack her open. That is one stuffed box of models. So, what have we got? The Ashwish tabs. So, these are. I mean, my God. That's some sick looking detail on there. <laughs> oh, it just makes me happy. Little gantries, walkways. Cool, multi purpose mechanism on the terrain. Which is also used to make the, where the ash waste nomads live basically, because they live in the ash wastes. And there we go, oh, yeah, cool. So there's loads of that. Classic Necromunda Swamp Monster and Barricades. <laughs> Never had too many of them. And then on to the gangs. Full Orlock gang. Um, it's, the, it's the gang box set, basically. These are not new models. Um, so the Orlock gang has been around for a while. Um, you've got the Heavy Stubber, all the options on there, Harpoon, so on and so forth. I'm not going to go through those. Necromunda players know that's an existing box set. Uh, they're beautiful models. And I, I have actually wanted to start an all account for Necromunda for a while, so there you go, win-win. However, <laughs> there are two Orlock quad bikes in there. And take a look at them. Yeah, they're just, it's like Mad Max meets Necromunda, which is really cool. Um, they have crew on there. Some really nice looking miniatures as you'd expect for the price point and for games where you're sure. playing the ash waste you get to spend 400 creds on like vehicles essentially to go out into the ash waste which is sick we have a brand new gang and this is the ash waste nomad and it's still the same principle it's still still the same layout so you've got essentially half the models on one sprue and then a duplicate sprue but there are so many different options here now the Ashways Nomads are pretty cool. They have like bits of scrap all the time fastened to them and they have like breathers and rebreathers. Really, I'm interested in these guys. Um, I love the fact they also bring a missile launcher to a knife fight, which is pretty cool. And they have lots and lots of cool things like long rifles and various different bits and pieces, which is, which is cool. Two sprues of those. And they also ride dust mite helamites, which are essentially bugs. And I think this is a really interesting way that they've gone, in that you can have mounts as well. So these are living creatures with this. So it's the same principle, you spend your creds to, to have them. But look at the heads. I think they look absolutely sick. Binoculars. They're like a nomadic tribe. I just love the idea of this. I can't wait to paint them. We're going to do some speed paint versus contrast paints on these as well and do a video on that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a blast from the past. It's the template set. You get dice and cards, which so the dice, so your classic Necromun dice, but also vehicle dice for the mishaps and things like that. Um, so yeah, cool. More dice to the selection. Yeah, you'd expect the dice to be in the game. If there's something seriously wrong, they didn't give you the dice to use, wouldn't they? And the cards, check that out. That's a, a hefty weight of cards. Now there are some tactic cards in here. 
and there are also a territory cards playing the Ash Waste campaign, which is cool. Very similar to Dark Uprising. So these are the tactic cards and campaign cards that come with the set. We've got 18 generic uh, tactic cards that can be used for either gang, I think. Um, a bunch of trade routes, which I assume are our territories. A bunch of a big bunch of um, road sections, which I'm not sure we'll do yet. And your classic um, gang fire cards and the new vehicle cards. One thing Games Workshop do undeniably well is the instruction manuals they put in step by step how to build you know gangs and so on and so forth and all the options in there which is great and um, one top tip for you which i've learned from some of the other youtubers out there keep hold of this because it's got the gang lists in the back <laughs> um, so it's like you've got the ashless nomads gang in there and um, the vehicles i cannot wait cannot wait for that to come out that is sick all the different rules are in there that relate to the models in this box. It's safe to say there will be a follow-up book coming with this with the more vehicles and so on and so forth. We'll be getting it absolutely. And you also get a nice little sealed hardback Ash Waste rule book. And token sheet, we include tokens for vehicles as far as I can see in various different effects, which is cool. So guys, this is the um, Ash Waste rule book. We're gonna have a quick closer look at it. Um, again, I've got some lovely artwork in this. Um, complete set of rules. Um, everything you'd want for uh, Necromander, the older game, the newer game, this game, everything. Um, there's no trading post and there's no specific gang lists. Um, this is the all the rules to play the game, um, including some generic vehicle rules, um, but nothing for an actual... Um, actual gang list. Uh, there's also the new Ash Waste uh, scenarios and campaign, which looks kind of cool. Um, loads of uh, history. Again, beautiful art. We'll go all the way through the book. Um, a little bit on each gang. Even some of the uh, newer uh, gangs from Dark Uprising. Uh, again, loads of history on Ash Waste and Necromander itself, and then we get into the actual box contents. Um, some new uh, tokens added in there, stored markers and whole point markers. Again, some of you will recognise points from the original book, uh, rule books. Uh, measuring distances, everything, everything you need to play the game. Again, bar the gang lists. Oh, can have a quick flip through. Again, look at that. What beautiful poster that would make. Fighter profiles, weapon profiles, vehicle cards. Again, telling you how to use the new stuff. Again, these are only generic rules. Um, hopefully, they'll be coming out soon. Uh, new Ash Waste scenario, um, campaign. Um, again, same as every other campaign, there's the generic rules, how to play a game and how to continue it from week to week. Um, bits on vehicles, what happens to them. Vehicle impacts, running over fighters, can't wait to run over some cord or tom. Vehicles are difficult terrain, falling, leaping gaps. Ooh, some structure information there. Again, shooting. Uh, damage to vehicles. Lasting damage. So these are like your um, lasting injuries. So you can write off a vehicle, or sometimes it won't start. Looks like fun. Okay, a lot of this stuff is generic from the other rule books. Look at that. What a picture. Psychic powers. Again, these were in the Outcast book. They were uh, heavily, um, heavily um, updated in that. 
not quite as much in these, but still, you're going to need the um, other books to play this. But there is a lot of information in this. Uh, what I looked at with the cars earlier. I haven't read all of this yet, guys, so sorry for the vagueness. Battles in the Ashway, stuff this goes into scenarios and things that can happen. So I think these are rolled when you're determining scenarios to give extra elements. A bit like the bad zones, if you remember those. Some of those are really horrible. Seasons. Sounds interesting. References, Beast Slayer, and then we get into the actual scenarios themselves. Dust Bowl Skirmish, the Looters. Some of these sound familiar from the other ones, they've probably just been updated for Ash Wastes. Fuel Hunt, Rescue Mission, standard one. Let's see what else is in here. Loads of scenarios in here, actually. The Bone Road Death Race. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> we got some skills. Up oh, here, skill trees. Uh, skills still. Oh. For people who haven't seen them yet, these are the Nomads. What lovely looking models these are. Can't wait to get these on the field. So right in the end there. So yeah, again, nothing that tells you how to, or nothing generic for the um, vehicles or gangs in there, but all the actual rules you want. Brilliant little book. One of the final things we get is a play surface. So I'm, I'm not really sure as to how big it is. Let's, let's have a look. Okay, so it's, it's about, I would say that's three by three-ish. Um, it's got a light side. The ash wastes really you don't really know what to explain other than that uh, it's nice that you get a match to actually play it in the box and then there is also a nighttime side um hmm. i think we might have to do something about the play surface video coming soon there we go guys that is our brief lockdown run through of this enormous box set <laughs> um yeah I'm really looking forward to playing this game. I'm going to take my time with this one. There will be painting videos, there's going to be battle reports, and we're going to be playing through the campaign. We love Necromunda. It's probably one of the, the games, watch games, we love the most, uh, just because it's a bit of fun, really. And that's the idea. Really, yeah, what can I say? Expensive box set? Yes. Brilliant models? Yes. Looks cool? Yes. So, hey, we're going to enjoy adding it to our repertoire and playing it. Uh, expect more from myself and Rob in the future with this, and thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and happy hobbying.